Okay, so this is functional flow or Pilates flow. Um, I've got some things all over the floor here, don't I? Um, we're gonna use some band work. We're gonna do some band work. Um, I have lighter bands here. Most of you have options. I would love for it to feel intuitive. If it feels like it's not creating good feelings and strength and mobility at the same time, then just switch. Um, to a different resistance and see if that's better for you, okay? Um, <clears throat> I also have a glider, um, and the glider is not 100% necessary, but you don't have to buy a glider to be able to do what we're doing. My glider has a plastic side, which is generally used on the rug, and then the other side is more like foam, and it barely moves on the rug, but the foam side moves really easily on wood flooring or this is cement. Okay, so if you don't have one of these, mine is called a Synergy Slider. Um, you can use, if you have a wood floor, I would grab a, um, a cloth from somewhere like a dinner cloth or a washcloth and you can use that on wood. And if you have a rug, you can use a paper plate or even a small plastic plate. Um, that actually works really, really well too, okay? And then just a quick note about, um, you know, we're gonna be, we want this glider to move. So the glider doesn't, oh, it moves is okay on the, it's a little bit better than I expected it to. Okay, that makes me feel differently. Anyway, if you wanna keep it on the rug, you can fold your mat in half. So you can still get the, that little bit of extra love from the mat. Um, while we do our, our kneeling work and because we're going to use the glider while we do our kneeling work, okay? Woo! I hope that's not confusing. Okay, so we're going to start with one glider and as I'm moving, it will be clear that you don't need the glider to do the exercise, but the glider will enhance the way it feels, okay? So we are going to start on the hands and knees and I know I say this all the time, but I'll say it one more time. If it's difficult to be on your wrists, P.S. send me a note about that. I'd love to give you some exercises to help you work on that. Um, but the other thing you can do is to grab a couple of larger weights and hold on like this, okay? It, it decreases the angle of the wrist and usually it's helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my glider on the side for the rug, because that's what I'm on. Um, and I'm gonna bring it underneath my, let's actually stretch the feet first. Um, keep the, the glider to the side. Bring your toes forward. I feel like all my things are, yeah. So bring your toes forward and then sit back on your heels because we just want to stretch out those feet before we use them in just a moment. So um, maybe this is a boring stretch for you. Maybe you want to sit up. I like it right here. Um, try and relax your shoulders. Um, you can always come to your forearms if you don't want to put a bunch of pressure into your wrists right from the beginning. Let's just take three deep breaths with the toes forward. Two more. One more time. and then come all the way up and uncurl the toes, okay? So I'm gonna grab the glider with my left foot and I'm going to come to a hands and knees position, hands under the shoulders, try and get that alignment so the hands can be directly underneath the shoulders. Um, and then you can plug your shoulders in and move from a nice aligned place there. Um, so the glider has the left foot pushing the floor away and pushing gently down through my right knee, I'm gonna extend the left leg out. When you do, notice that your left hip is still fairly in line with your right. Often that hip likes to dip down a little bit, okay? So you'll be looking for that. Bend the knee, come in and put the knee down. Lift the knee a little bit again and extend back out. Keep going at your own pace here. Um, just kind of waking up the muscles that are in between your two hips, which help you find stability in that area. Each time you push the leg away, 
you are asking your core muscles to do a little bit of a different job, right? So you're taking one limb of stability out of the equation. We're just going to do three more here. Three. And two. And one more time. And then come back in. And just come all the way up for a moment on your knees. And you can bring the arms by your sides. Lift the chest and look straight ahead. Ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. When you bring your head to, I'm bringing my head to the left and I'm reaching down through my right arm. And then I'm coming back to the center. I'm bringing my head over to the right and I'm reaching down through my left arm. Keep going a few more times. I just want to show you something. Sometimes when people's necks are tight, instead of stretching the ne their neck, they go all the way over here. Can you keep your shoulders here and just move the head? Okay, so then you'll really isolate the stretch through the side of the neck. And then go to the other side. You're breathing. One more each way. And then we'll come back to the center. Okay, give the glider to the opposite foot. For me, it's my right foot. Coming back here. So I'm pushing the floor away, hands under shoulders, belly button is pulled in a little bit, and I'm going to start extending and bending the knee. You can take your time. Maybe this side is a little bit different. This is kind of a really subtle exercise. Um, you know, you know, one moment you've got all four limbs supporting you and then you're just taking one away. The challenge here is to notice what happens in your hips and with your shoulders, I think. Um, another way you can help the wrist, by the way, is to fold your mat up even more and to just rest your hands right on the edge. Just to throw that out there. We're going to do three more here. And two. And one more time and then come all the way in. Come all the way back up on your knees. Arms come out to the sides. Twist in either direction. See if you can look at your back hand, reach the arms apart from one another, slide the shoulders down, and then come back to the center, other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. And then come back to center and lower the arms down. Okay, so now we're going to kind of bring this up a notch. If this was challenging for you, maybe you'll stick with what we just did, okay? But I'm going to add on a little bit. So I'm going to extend. The left foot has the glider again, right? I'm gonna extend my right arm out in front of me. I'm just gonna put my fingers down on the floor and I'm gonna keep my shoulders nice and even. So I've got pressure down through my left hand, pressure down through my right fingertips. And now I'm extending the left leg out and coming back in. I'm not gonna put that knee down now. I'm just gonna come in and out along the way. I'm going to lift away from the ground and breathe. If for some reason your glider is being annoying because of the surface that you're on, as you can see, you can easily just step out and come back in, okay? Let's do five more. And four. And three. Two. One more. And come all the way in. And then we'll come up and take a little break. Okay, so I'm ho I hope you're starting to feel some more core activity here. We're gonna switch the feet. I'm just gonna push the glider over to the right foot. Make sure it's underneath my toes. And then come on back down. So, right hand stays, left arm comes out, the fingertips are down. And now as I extend the right leg, I'm thinking about lifting my abdominals away from the floor. I'm doing everything I can to lift up out of my right wrist. <clears throat> Keeping the breath moving, of course. Please try not to hold your breath. And six. And five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And then come on.
them all the way in, okay? Good morning, abdominals. You can uncurl your toe there. Just put both your feet down. Both arms come up. Hook your thumbs. Drop your chin side to side. And stretch. One more each way. Reach over to the right with the fingertips. Reach over to the left. And then we'll come all the way back down. So now it's gonna get even more exciting. Come back to your hands and knees. We're gonna keep the hands where they started, hands under shoulders, okay? I'm coming back to um, the glider under the, the left foot, but I'm not gonna move that left foot just yet. This is an experiment. I'm gonna bring my right leg out into a plank. I'm gonna push down through my palms, lift the abdominals. Now I'm going to experiment with extending the left leg out and coming back in, putting the knee down and finding that activity again. If this is like super easy and flowy for you, maybe you aren't putting your knee down. Um, I'm gonna put my knee down during each one just because it feels like a nice middle road. I'm gonna do four more. And three. And two, one more. And then come all the way in and uncurl the toes. Hook your thumbs behind your tush. If your arms don't fit together because your chest is so tight, you can always grab your band and hold onto it behind your tush. And you can do the same stretch with the band, okay? Thumbs are hooked. Lift the arms. Inhale, exhale. Okay, bring the glider under the right foot. Hands on the shoulders. Extend the left leg out into a plank. Find those long lines. Push the floor away and then extend the right leg and return. And return. So I'm taking my time. If you want this to be a little bit more cardiovascular, pick up the pace, go for it. Last five. And four. And three. Two. One more. Woo! And then you can uncurl the toes. Come all the way up. Take a nice deep breath here. We'll do a little chest expansion. Why don't we do it with the band actually, just to break this up a little bit. You can hold on to a light band. Yeah, mine is pretty light. And I would say a wider than your shoulders, just a little bit wider than your shoulders, okay? Um, lift the chest here. Drop your tailbone down and press your hip bones and your pubic bone forward and bring the arms out in front of you. Take a nice deep breath. And then bring your hands by your sides. Let the band come across the thighs, push back through the karate chop side of the hand. And then we'll come back up again. Breathe. And as you push back through your arms, think shoulder blades down and together. We're gonna do three more. Two more. One more. And then come back in. Okay, just toss this to the side. So we're gonna do one more variation uh, with the glider under the foot. This one is probably the, the most challenging. It is for me at least. So if one of the former variations is better for you, just repeat that one, okay? So I'm gonna come back, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. I'm gonna extend my right leg out. I'm gonna extend my left leg out and think windshield wiper. Out to the side, back in again. We're gonna do uh, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, come all the way down. 
Just a quick little wrist twirl before we get right to the other side. Okay, and side two. Gliders under the right foot. Find that push the floor away feeling. Extend the left leg. Extend the right leg and out to the side. Eight, eight, seven, six, five. Oop, my glider got stuck. Four, three, two, one all the way down all right that was exciting okay i'm going to put my glider to the side that was a nice little core wake up you can lay your mat out if you have it folded like mine we're going to come back um, and we're going to be able to use the whole thing again and i'm going to use my band here okay and this is, I think the light man is going to continue to be great. I'm putting my socks back on because it's quite cold in here. I just had a flashback to living in New York City because it always, every single day of my life, sounded exactly like it sounds outside. Which is why I never started a virtual business there. Okay, so I'm taking my band. I'm lying down on my back. <sighs> That's nice. Knees bent, feet nice and flat. So we're going to use the band um, on, I'm going to start with my left foot and I'm going to put the band across the toes and the ball of the foot and partially the arch. Okay? So we're just going to work the foot. We've already done quite a big stretch here, but we're going to do a little bit more. You're going to flex the foot. And when you do, bring your elbows right down by your sides. You may need to adjust how you're holding your band. Lengthen out your neck. Make sure everything else is nice and lovely so you can breathe. Um, and from here, you're going to push the foot into the band. So I'm kind of pointing the foot. And then I'm going to flex the foot. So that's it. Point and flex. Point. I'm keeping my elbows right by my sides. And flex. Have a look at your foot here. And just kind of watch your foot track back and forth, toes towards your belly and then toes towards the ceiling. Five more, five. And, oop, there goes mine. And four. And three. Yeah, if yours is rolling around like mine, you might want to grab a heavier band. Actually, that may be a nicer way for it to lie flat. And then come back to center. And then pause for a second. We're gonna go side to side now, okay? So the band is on the whole arch of the foot and the ball of the foot. Bring the foot to the right and you can kind of more deeply pull into the band as it goes to the right and then pull left, side to side. You should feel some work and some stretch in through the arch of the foot, the ankle, um, who knows where else, down into the calf and the shin even. Yeah, I'm definitely using, I'm moving my foot with my foot. I'm using my foot muscles to move, but I'm using my arms and the band as well. Let's just do three more. And two, and one. Good. And then we'll take the foot out and we'll go right over to the other side. Side two. Okay, I'm going to try and keep my band organized here. Um, elbows come to the ground. Flex and point. Flex. Ooh, this is quite a stretch. Breathe. Five more. Five. And four. And three, two, and one more time. Okay, I'm going to choke up a little bit more on the band, right and left, right and left, right and left. 
I know some of you have really tight feet. This is such a great series for you, okay? Maybe you can work this in every day, something like it. One more each way. Okay, and then come back to the center. Um, bring your other foot up there as well. See if you can have them both share. And we're gonna bring the feet in towards one another and the knees wide, and I'm gonna walk my hands up towards my feet and just hold on to the band and rock right and left for a moment just to enjoy a little bit of a stretch through the pelvis and the hips and the low back. I'm rocking right and left. Let's do two more here. Nice deep breath. And one more. And back to the center. Okay, I'm gonna take the band off the feet and then just toss everything off to the side, okay? So arms by your sides. We're gonna do a little single leg circles. I'm gonna slide my left leg out so it's almost all the way straight, but not quite. If you're really super flexible, go ahead and straighten the leg all the way out. Play around with that. Right leg is gonna come up and then circle. In, around, and up. In, around, and two. Long arms. Three. And four. And five. One more and we'll reverse at the top. Other way, six, and five, four, three, two, last one, and then bend the knee, slide out about halfway and bring the opposite leg up. Nice long left leg, it's a little turned out, and circle, in around up. Two, three, four, five, at the top, other way, out, around, up. Use those abdominals to help bring the leg up. Three, four, five, and last one. Bend both knees and give those shins a big hug. Take an inhale, exhale. Okay, I'm gonna roll to the side because I need to grab my band. Okay, so as we move through this next bit, you can rock up to sit. As you move through this next bit, um, you'll figure out what resistance band you're gonna use. I'm gonna stay at this level here Having a more resistant band, so a heavier, thicker band, is gonna give you more help. And I think more of a back stretch too. So you may wanna play around with that, okay? So I'm gonna hold on to the edges of my band. My band is not very long, so you may need to walk forward. And I'm gonna straighten my legs the best I can. Sit up tall to begin. Elbows are gonna come back. Forehead will come forward. So this first is a big stretch and then sit up nice and tall. Let's just do that two more times. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, sit tall. One more. Inhale, sit tall. Okay, now here we are sitting tall. We're gonna bring our chin towards our throat. You can keep your knees a little soft perhaps, and we're gonna slowly lie down. As you lie down, the band is gonna help you, but you're still really using those abdominals. Enjoy that stretch along the way. Take a nice deep breath, and then you'll lift your arms, bring your chin toward your throat, and slowly curl back up again. Continue curling forward, Bend your elbows, forehead forward. How about shoulders away from the ears? How about flex your feet? Ooh, sit up nice and tall. I kind of like soft knees for this, okay? So you can see by now, if you, we're gonna go back down again. If you need just a little bit more help, grab that extra band. It helps you, I think, to figure out how to use your abdominals along the way. And then to come back up again, we're lifting the arms, chin to the throat. 
And a lot of people get really frustrated because they can't do this exercise. Flex your feet, pull the elbows back forward with the forehead. But it doesn't have to do with strength, it has to do with tightness. And I think the band really helps with that too. Sit up nice and tall and slowly go back down. I'm pushing out east and west with my feet a little bit. Head all the way down. We're going to do two more. Big stretch here again. Flex those feet. Ooh, breathe. Sit up tall. Slowly go back, go back down. This is our last roll down. Head down. Our last roll up. When you get to the top, one more big stretch. Flex your feet, elbows back, shoulders away from the ears. And come all the way up to sit. Okay, take the band off the feet. I know that can be a lot for the hands, so just jazz, jazz hands yourself or do some circles. Okay? And we're going to put the um, band off to the side. And we're going to come onto our bellies. So let's flip over. Flip over. Um, I'm going to incorporate the band into this next bit too. Um, yeah, light I think is better. Nice and light. So elbows bent, cactus shape. Hold on with no extra resistance. Um, with two hands. You can even hold on with your thumb, like right like this, if you don't want to curl into a fist here. All right? And then rest your forehead down. Relax your shoulders. Forget the band is there for a moment. And breathe into your waist. Breathe into your back. And exhale. Okay, one more deep breath. Start to get a little heavier in the pelvis and heavier in the pubic bone. And you're gonna start to lift your head just a little bit. You can just keep breathing, inhale or exhale, and keep the palms down. And then lower back down. So small lift at first. Head and the chest comes up. My palms are just continuing to press down. And lower down. Three more, three, and down. Two more. Two, and down. One more. Okay, so now I'm gonna add. Lift the head and press out and back a little bit. It's almost like my elbows and my shoulders are pulling back as I press out with my fingertips or my hands, and then come on back. Out and back. Be careful not to dump all the weight into the low back here. See if you can find your lift through your chest. Pressure down into the pubic bone a little bit. If you want to fully extend the arms, if that feels like a nice idea, go for it. I think it feels really good. You can try it out. Four more. And three. Try not to hold your breath. Two more. And one more time. And come all the way down. Just rest your head down for a second. You can maybe come to one side of your face um, and just take one deep belly breath here. Okay, so now we're gonna bring the band behind your tush. I'm gonna bring both of my hands. We did this stand, some of you did the standing. Um, so I'm basically just holding it. My palms are up. Um, maybe that will feel okay for you too. So my hands are about as wide as my sits bones or my tush, palms up. Bring your legs in towards one another. And if your heels can come together without feeling yucky in your low back, try that. Bend the knees and imagine you want to kick your tush three times. One, two, three. As you extend your legs, reach back through your knuckles, reach outward into the band and look forward. 
and then come on back down. Put your head on the other side. And again, feet to the tush. One, two, three. Extend the legs, feet to the floor. Reach the knuckles back, reach the knuckles back, reach the knuckles back. We'll do one more each way. Come back to the first side of your head. One, two, three. Reach and lift, reach and lift, reach and lift. And then one more time. One, two, three. Reach it all the way back. Come all the way down. Let's sit back for just a second in child's pose here. Give yourself two more deep breaths. And one more. And then come all the way back. Okay, we're coming back onto our backs. Now we're gonna let this flow a little bit. We did warm ups for the belly, warm ups for the back. Let's kind of put the whole thing together now. Um, keep your band close by when you lie down. Come onto your back, knees into the chest. Give the shins a little bit of a hug. Take an inhale, exhale. We're gonna move through the stomach series here. So I'm gonna bring my left hand and my right hand to my right shin, and then extend the left leg, curling the head, neck, and shoulders up. Make sure your right knee is pretty central as you curl up. It's almost like the knee and the nose wanna be in towards one another, and then switch. Hug the left leg in, knee and the nose in towards one another. If keeping your head down is better for you, please do so. And we're gonna do four more. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. Both legs come back in, put your head down for a minute. We're gonna try the next exercise in a couple of different ways. Grab your band. Um, <clears throat> the band will come under our heads for the first variation. So you can kind of open it up a little bit so it's kind of flat and then slip it underneath your head so it supports the back of the head. Um, elbows will come up like they want to reach for the ceiling. Ooh, my nose is itchy. Every single time I do something where I can't scratch my nose, my nose gets itchy. Okay, so elbows are bent, legs are up, knees are bent. Let's do feet together, knees apart. Exhale, curl forward. Imagine you want to bring your elbows to your knees. Inhale, back down. Inhale, back down. Three more. Two more. Last one. Okay, so now we're gonna curl forward and the legs will also stretch out at the same time. So curl forward, stretch out the legs, and return. Three more. Two more. One more. Come all the way back down. Take the band out from underneath your head. We're gonna try this exercise slightly in a different way. Um, bring the band, we did this in the beginning, like underneath, uh, um, sorry, on the foot where the ball of the foot and the toes are, just like this. So similar to what we just did, except for we're gonna have help a little bit. Bring your elbows wide for this one, um, east and west, and then the feet are together, okay? So take an inhale. Exhale, stretch the legs out and curl up. So this is great for those of you where it's hard to lift your head. You get a little bit of help. I think it feels good though. You're still using your abdominals. And then curl back down, elbows go wide. Stretch up. You can even practice lifting a little bit here if this feels kind of exciting. If you wanna curl up even more, or even come up into a little bit of a teaser, you have my blessing and then come all the way back down. Experiment with that a little bit. Staying down is fine. I think you're into, it'll be intuitive. This is really nice. Let's do two more of whatever it is that you're doing. Two 
And then one more. And come all the way down. Take out the left foot, leave the right one up there. Hold on with your left hand to both straps, both sides of the, the um, band. <laughs> and then extend your opposite leg out. And just bring the leg across the body for a moment and enjoy this situation. It's a big hip stretch. Maybe look in the opposite direction. If you only feel this like behind the knee, soften your knee a little bit and it should travel up into the hip a bit more. Just give yourself two more exhales here. Inhale. And one more. And then just switch the feet. Switch the feet. Opposite hand, opposite foot. And then you'll cross the body. And again, soften that knee just a little bit and you should feel it right up through the side of the leg and the hip. You can look in the opposite direction that your foot is going. Relax the ankle here. Just relax your ankle. If I'm pushing into my foot, the stretch isn't as good as when I just relax my foot. Two more exhales. And one more. And then come on back up again. Carefully take the band off the foot and just toss it to the side. Okay. Legs return. Give them a little bit of a hug. Let's extend the right leg up. Um, single straight leg. So both legs are going to come out nice and straight. Curl forward. Relax your shoulders. And switch. And switch. Well, you're, you're welcome to put your head down here as well. That may adjust the angle of the legs a bit. So take notice to that. Last three. And three, you can flex the feet for an added calf stretch. Two, two, one, one. Bend the knees. Relax that head down. Take a nice deep breath. Grab your band one more time and slip it under your head one more time right under the back of the skull and we're going to find this position again elbows bent okay so legs will come up make a diamond position with your legs so i like feet together the heel and the big toes are kind of together and then the knees are a little bit wide so it's not just bent knees knees are wider than your hips Draw the abdominals in, curl forward. Okay, can you keep the upper body exactly where it is? Lower this position and come right back up. Inhale down, exhale up. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one, all the way down. Okay, we can toss the band to the side. Toss the band to the side. Where is the glider? Did you forget about the glider? I'm gonna see how my glider moves on my mat. I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm using the side of the glider that I would normally put on the rug. Yeah, it's all right. Um, so I'm putting the glider underneath the heel of my right foot. The heel of my right foot. I don't know. You may have to put your foot on it in a different way in order just to move it. Play around with that. I am going to as well. Arms by your sides. We're going to pretend like we're bridging, and at first we will be, okay? So I'm leaving the glider where it is. Pushing both feet down, glider's not going anywhere, hips are just going to come up and then back down, okay? So feet stay, hips come up and back down and up and back down and up 
and back down. I'm just pretending like the glider isn't even there. Three more, and two more. One more time. And then come all the way down. Now we're gonna lift the hips. Make sure your heels are not too far from your tush. Scooch them in so they're relatively close. And then the hips will come up just a little bit. Also, PS, make sure your feet are not too far from one another. Mine are quite close. Okay, so hips come up a little bit. Let's say two or three inches. And now the leg that has the glider is going to go away and come back. I'm going to go away and come back. Each time I come back, I'm gonna push down into the floor like I'm returning to start. I'm going away, coming in, pushing down. Going away, coming in, pushing down. Two more. Away, coming in, pushing down. One more. And pushing down. I'm sorry for those of you whose hamstrings hate me right now. I really hope that they don't hate me forever. Switch the glider over to the left foot. I, it's not under my heel, just FYI. I'm kind of using the ball of the foot mostly, okay? Lifting relatively close feet. Lift up two to three inches, not high. Stay here. Now the opposite foot. Press out, come in and push down. Press out, come in and push down. Press out, come in and push down. I should say slide out. Slide out, come in, push down. Four more. Four. Use your belly. Three. Two. Last one. Come all the way down. Take a nice deep breath here. Inhale, exhale. Okay, that, that's enough for that hamstring, don't you think? Roll into your side. I'm gonna do some side body work. Um, actually, come up to sit. Come up to sit for a moment. Okay, so um, the only thing that would prevent you, I think, from being able to do this is knee discomfort. Um, I'm sitting in this Z-sit position, so foot on thigh. Um, normally, this is the beginning of mermaid, but we're going to do a little work for the side body here. So get yourself situated. The other thing you can try if this is not good for your knees is straight out, maybe heels together or flexed. Yeah, you, you, you should be able to do that too. I'm going to stay like this though, okay? So I have the glider in my right hand, but again, we'll do both sides. I'm just putting the tips of my fingers and my palm a bit on the glider. And I'm gonna come back hand behind the head. See if you can pull your head back into your hand and draw the abdominals in. So think the same elbow that's up, that same hip is pushing down. So when I stretch over, I'm not bringing my booty up. I'm trying to keep it down and I'm getting a big stretch through my left side and then I'm gonna come back again, okay? So this first part is a little bit more stretchy and mobility work, but I think we're also doing some work into the obliques on this side. Try and keep that left hip or the outside hip and your tushy down into the mat. Five more. Five. Use your belly more than your right arm. If you're overworking your right shoulder, you're going too far out. Decrease the range of motion. Last two here. Try to pull your head back into your hand. If you're pushing your own head forward, come to more of like a salute position instead. One more. Okay, we're gonna change this just a little bit. As you slide out, this time we're gonna extend the top arm out and then return. So you're getting a little bit more of a stretch. Just be careful that you're not sinking when you extend the arm, but you're really lengthening out. Like you're able to lengthen from the hip all the way through to the fingertips. Reach. Two more. And reach. One more time. Nice. Just a quick counter move. Bring that left hand to the elbow, sorry, to the ankle, and then a big stretch over. You can look down at that bottom foot. Inhale, exhale. And then return. Okay, let's come to the other side. 
And you'll be doing the same thing if you are keeping your legs straight out in front of you. It's the same motion, okay? So this side could be different. We're going to see how this goes. Hand to glider. Um, think about keeping this hip down, or this tush down into the ground. Light hand. The heavier you are into your hand, the harder it is to come back up. Oh yeah, we started here. So you bring your hand behind your head if you like the way that felt. Head back and maybe go not quite as far the first time. So my right hand is behind my head right now. When I come up, I'm really trying to use my right side more than my left shoulder. And breathe, five. And four. And three. Yeah, try that salute position if the hand behind the head is forcing you to push your own head too far forward. Last two here. And then one more time. Like this. Okay, so now we're going to make it flow a little bit more and add the arm extension. And this is nice. I think we're working strength of the side body here and also mobility of the spine in this direction. And again, you're taking those nice deep breaths to support the flow. We're doing two more here. Last time. Coming all the way up bringing my hand to my ankle, and then the left arm comes up. I'm gonna just relax that right shoulder. Oh, Turn and look down at your own foot to increase that twisty stretch. And then come all the way up and come on back down, okay? Um, I want to do a little bit more side body work here too. We can get the glider out of the way. We don't need it. Come on to your right side. As you know, we'll be doing both sides. So if for some reason you have to come on to the left, that's just fine. Um, so I have my head underneath, uh, so my head on my arm. Um, if you don't like that, you can always put a pillow under your head or a, a yoga block or a ball, okay? Top hand right in front of your own ribs. Legs are gonna come out nice and straight, but at a slight angle forward, all right? My back is against the back of the mat and my legs are towards the front corner. Go ahead and actually bring your hand to your top hip for a minute. Um, make sure your hip is not leaning forward or back. Try to find center, hip on top of other hip, and then lift your top leg, all right? Push down through your bottom leg and bring this leg forward and back. So one way to test this uh, movement here to make sure that you're doing the work with your upper body is do you need your top hand to keep yourself from going forward and back? And if the answer is yes, that's okay, but make sure when you're going back and forth with the leg here that you're not going forward and back with the upper body, okay? I would love for you to remain as still as you can through the upper body, because that's how we use our sneaky little core muscles. Three more. Three. And two. One more time. And then bring the leg on top of the other leg, up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Hover over that bottom leg. Find that hip again. Let's keep it nice and still. Push it away just a little bit, just to lengthen out that side body. Small little circles. I just want you to close your eyes and envision your hip ball and socket joint right now. Your leg is going in front, above, behind, and below the direct place where the ball and socket inserts into your pelvis. Okay, so it's a circle, but it's it's an intentional circle. Try and go 
all the way around where that joint is, if you can envision that. And then go the other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, long neck here, two, and one. Let that leg hover again. Bring your hand in front of your chest. You may need it a little bit. We're gonna move both legs more in line with the upper body. And then both legs are going to lift up. Belly button is in here. One hip on top of the other. You're not forward or back. Really try and find that center place. Lower the legs. Lift and come up. Try and use those abdominals the best you can. Four more. Arm up is nice too. And three. And two. One more. Lift and hold. Flex the feet. And we're bringing one leg forward as the other one reaches back. And switch. Woo! And switch. 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 Three more. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Bend those knees. Put them down. Let's take a twisty stretch here. You can bend your left arm. So uh, you can increase the stretch across the chest. One more deep breath here. And then roll it over. Okay, side two. Flip over. Make any adjustments that you need to make for this side. Okay, one side could be very different from the other. And we're gonna bring the legs forward at an angle, right? So upper body, nice and straight, legs forward, top leg. You may want your hands here, that's okay. Upper body is gonna be as still, as still as you can keep it. Make sure you're really bringing the leg behind you, by the way. And gently just push down with your bottom leg for a little bit more structure. Five more. And four. And three. Two. One more time. And then legs come forward. A little turn out, up and down. And eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then hover over that bottom leg. Bring your hip here, uh, your hand onto your hip. Make sure that hip is nice and still, a circle. So maybe close your eyes. Think below, in front of, above, and behind that ball and socket joint. A real circle, a real circle. Five more here, five, four, three, two. Go the other way, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Both legs are moving now. Both legs are going to come back so you're in a straight line. Both legs are going to come up and down. And down. It's sometimes when people lift their legs, their ribs push out and their belly pushes out. See if you can dry your abdominals in a little bit. 
Um, if the hip is right on top of that bottom hip, it's a little bit easier. Let's do three more. Two more. One more, and we're lifting and holding right here. Flex those feet. One leg forward, opposite leg back. Ooh, this side's a lot harder for me to keep this arm up here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Three more. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Bend the knees. Big twisty stretch time. One more really deep breath here. Okay, we can roll back onto our side. Come on up to sit and come on up to stand. I'm gonna come up through a down dog, uh, just in case anyone wants to do that. I'm just gonna take two deep breaths there and then walk my hands back. So let's come up to stand. I'm just gonna bring my feet a little bit wider than my own hips. Um, arms gonna come out nice and wide. Let's bring the right arm down and the left arm up and just push down through both feet, especially the left as you stretch over. And then we'll switch to the other side, left arm down, right arm up, push down through that right foot as you stretch over. And then one more each way. Other side. And then come back to the center. Walk your feet in. I'm going to do heels together, toes apart. Inhale, reach all the way up. And as you exhale, bring your arms down and make the neck as long as you can, slowly. And then just hold here. Take one more belly breath. Relax the shoulders. One more for good luck. We did it. Have a great day. You guys are awesome.